Now in this lesson we're looking at inequations. Let's look at some examples. We are asked to solve each inequality and graph the solution. The first one is 5x plus 7 is less than or equal to negative 3. So that's what an inequation or inequality is. Instead of having an equal sign, we'll be looking at the less than or greater than signs. Let's write that down again. And now the 5x plus 7, we need to move the positive 7. We move that to the right hand side. Remember when plus 7 changes to the right hand side becomes minus 7. Now the 5x there, we'll write that down. We have the less than or equal to sign. So much like our equal signs, make sure when setting it out we write them down underneath each other. The negative 3 take away 7 is negative 10. Now to get x by itself, it's multiplying by 5 at the moment, so the opposite of that is to divide by 5. Make sure we do it to both sides. On the left hand side, those 5's will cancel each other out. So we have the x by itself, so therefore we write x is less than or equal to. And negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. So at this stage we have solved our inequality. Now we need to graph the solution. So we have x is less than or equal to minus 2. Need to graph that. So our number line there, we mark in the negative 2. And it's less than or equal to negative 2. So we colour the circle at negative 2. And we're also interested in all the numbers less than that. So all the numbers to the left of negative 2. Excellent. Our second example now, 8x minus 4 is less than... 10x plus 8. So let's write that down once more. The 8x minus 4, the letter and the number on the one side. So let's move the number, the negative 4, over. When we change the side, we change the sign. So the negative 4 becomes positive 4. On the right hand side, let's keep the numbers there, but let's move the letter term. The 10x, the positive 10x, when we move it becomes minus 10x. So we have 8x minus 10x, that's negative 2x. We have the less than sign, and 8 plus 4 is 12. Now we need to get the x by itself at the moment. It's being multiplied not just by 2, but in fact negative 2. So to get rid of that, we need to divide by negative 2. We do it to the other side, and this is where the rule comes in. In an in inequality, if we divide or multiply by a negative, we must reverse the symbol. So that less than sign, we will reverse that, make it a greater than sign. So let's just see. The negative 2's on the left will cancel each other out. So let's just write the x by itself now. The less than sign, we are reversing it, becomes greater than. And the 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6. So at this stage there, x is greater than negative 6. We've solved it, now we need to graph it. So there's our line, negative 6 we're marking. Now this time, because it's greater than negative 6, we leave it as an open circle. We don't include the negative 6, leave it as an open circle. And it's greater than negative 6, so we need all the numbers to the right of negative 6. Excellent. Well, that concludes our lesson. So just remembering when solving these inequations that if you multiply or divide by a negative, that's when you reverse the symbol.